Researchers at this lab in Boston are working on the next big thing. Fascinating. In beauty, and it's all made possible through the power of biology. Jasmina Aganovic is the founder and CEO of Arkea Beauty, a startup aiming to build a new sustainable supply chain for the beauty industry using biotechnology. So first things first, what is biotechnology. When you think of a factory, you think of like a big building with equipment and things go in that building and then we use that equipment to make the things that we want. Biotech is basically the same thing except for in this case your factory is a living cell, right? It's a microbe that's making those things. And then you let the microbe do the work. Exactly. With technologies like DNA sequencing, biological engineering, and fermentation, researchers at Arkea are safely growing beauty ingredients in a lab instead of sourcing them from the environment. We have been creating our ingredients by extraction, right, from either animals or plants or even petrochemicals. And each of these things has a footprint. And so biology and biotech presents a perfect antidote to this, which could create better sustainability profiles, um, but also uh, new levels of performance that can get consumers really excited. That excitement extends to beauty powerhouses like Chanel and Olaplex, among others, who already invest in Arkea, which raised $78 million in funding in 2021. If we use rose oil as an example, from a manufacturing standpoint, you need 200,000 petals to make just a few milliliters of rose oil. And so think of the land footprint, think of the water consumption. With biotech, however, you take out all of those variables and you're able to, through a microbe, through a single fermentation, produce what you need and just what you need without all that waste. Give me an example of another area where we could see some of this biotechnology showing up. One area you might be hearing about in the news a lot is sunscreen. So this is strange to say, but fish don't get sunburned. And it turns out they have this molecule that we don't have as humans. And what we're doing is studying that molecule and creating it through fermentation so that we don't have to extract it from fish and looking to bring that to market in sunscreens. I mean, this opens up a whole new way of doing things. So uh, I call biology a new creative tool for the industry. I get even more excited about all the possibilities, many of which we can't even imagine today. Products that remember how to curl your hair in the shower may one day become a thing of the future. Trying to prevent odor? Well, instead of masking it, Arkea has created an ingredient that can shift the smell away. So I have here a few Petri dishes of different kinds of microbes that grow in our underarm area. And some of them cause smell and some of them don't. Oh, yes, that, that does smell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so what we wanted to do is to create ingredients that can make them not smell. So this is what our ingredient technology will ultimately look like that formulators are going to be and already are working with. We're calling Scent Arc. That would go into a stick. Exactly. Just and this. that becomes the new deodorant. Exactly. Biotechnologists are even helping to revive elements that are extinct, proving that the possibilities in beauty are endless. So here you're about to smell a fragrance from a flower that no longer exists. So this is a flower that existed in Hawaii. Went extinct in 1910. Oh, that's cool. Not that it went extinct, but this one. Oh, wow. And that one is my personal favorite. Well, I mean, these are just Scents I've never smelled before. And this is all because of what biology enables. Okay. So here's what's really cool. So they use DNA sequencing to tell the microbes smell like this. Mm -hmm. So this is an extinct flower from Hawaii that you've probably never smelled before, but they took the DNA from a sample of that flower that's in a, you know, that's in a library somewhere. Uh -huh. And these are scents that have been extinct. This one's from the I'll Midwest. And then this Chanel might know this one. This one is Chanel. from South Africa. Oh, that is nice. The and scent are, is extinct? The scent, the flower is extinct, but now the oh, scent is the, not oh, extinct. Oh, that's delightful. Isn't that like really that special? Oh, that's nice. So, Dylan, is there any downside? There are some people who would say, are you messing with And nature? I asked that. I yeah. said, you know, is this go, is this like a Jurassic Park yes, situation yes, here? Yes. And you know, your body is covered in microbes. So the microbes, for example, when you smell, yeah. are microbes that produce a bad smell. Well, we're going to tell those microbes, you know what? produce no smell at all. That's mm -hmm. what they're gonna put in the deodorant. So it's the same microbes, just with a different DNA sequence in it so that it doesn't smell. It's fascinating. Right. It's really cool. And I'll take those two bottles. That's I know, aren't you? I guess yeah. I never saw Jurassic Park. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day. 
or click the link right here.